Women farmers in the country under the platform of Swafun say they want equal playing field for all genders in the agricultural sector. They argue that implementing the national gender policy will address poverty and ensure food, nutrition and sufficiency for the country. To address this worrisome situation, the Ministry of Agriculture, in collaboration with the Action Aid Nigeria and other development partners, decided to chart a roadmap to address inequality in the agricultural sector through the national gender policy. Now, initiatives and facilitators explain the importance of the policy and how it can attribute or contribute rather to the growth and development of the agricultural sector. You may know that the policy was developed along with its legal frameworks and in line with the provisions of the National Gender Policy by the Federal Ministry of Women Affairs, protocols and treaties signed by the Federal Government on Gender Mistreatment and Women Empowerment. This is also inclusive of the 1999 Constitution as amended, which aims to provide equality of women empowerment, bridge gender gap by enhancing food security. The national gender policy in agriculture is consistent with the sustainable development goals that addresses the following: one, eradicating poverty (SDG 1), ending hunger by achieving food security, improving nutrition and sustainable agriculture (that is SDG 2). Ensuring healthy living by promoting well-being for all at all ages and enhancing the empowerment of women and girls. Effective impl implementation of a policy can actually lead to closing the gender gap in agriculture and rural labor markets. It can contribute to our achieving food security. Um, so that's what we are doing. Um, so we all recognize that more needs to be done and that's why we are organizing this forum to push for more to be done in terms of the policy. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.